Hello, welcome. Thanks for coming to learn a little bit more about our AVID program here at Sequoia High School. So I want to make sure to introduce myself. My name is Tessa Yeager. I'm the AVID coordinator at Sequoia. Uh, I've been a teacher at Sequoia for 17 years and I've been involved in our AVID program for about 13 years of that. So AVID stands for Advancement via Individual Determination. And it's the idea that you can achieve your dreams if you're committed to them. So I often ask students, how many of you want to go to college, especially like sort of an eighth grade when we're recruiting and they go, yes, yes, I wanna to go to college. And then I ask them, do you know how to apply to college? And almost no hands go up. And so that difference between wanting to do it and knowing how to do it is the gap that AVID is trying to meet. So, in the Sequoia Union High School District, if you want to take AVID as an elective, the four high schools where you can do that is at Carlmont, Menlo Atherton, Sequoia, and Woodside. And who is AVID for? So AVID is for students who are committed to earning a four-year degree, who want support to complete advanced courses in high school, um, and then who also really want um, help and guidance with sort of the whole college and scholarship application process. Um, and they want assistance in becoming not just good college students, but successful college students. So we're no longer just talking about getting students into college, but we want them to succeed when they're there. So a little bit of the support offered by AVID. So we encourage students to think about um, starting to prepare for college now. So we focus on things like writing and reading, um, real skills that you're going to need in college tutorials where students present questions to classmates and get help um, in a Socratic method sort of style. Uh, we also look a lot at study strategies. So what is different ways that students can be successful in approaching a class? Um, in addition, any sort of college test preparation that might be required um, for where they're um, looking to attend. Um, we also want to look at organization. So we have students organize, whether it's digitally or on paper. Um, and also note taking. Uh, for a long time, AVID has advocated for a particular method called the Cornell note method, um, but we also teach students a whole bunch of other methods in terms of how to be sort of focused note takers. Uh, we also provide a lot of information on colleges, including types of colleges, four year versus two year, um, private versus public, um, out of state, in state universities. Um, also looking at admissions requirements. So what do students need to know before they can go? Um, and what do they need to have taken? And then really, how do you make a college decision? How do you decide both financially, academically, socially, um, what's gonna be best for you? And then we look at financial aid and help students start understanding that from ninth grade on, um, what are the elements that are going to allow them to be able to pay for their education? So, we also think of AVID as a family. So we start, um, I often think that students make that make them feel kind of weird that we talk about it as a family, but I really believe that. So um, we try to have the same teacher for all four years that helps with the college process, monitors progress, you know, graduation and also A to G requirements for college admissions. We look to try to have the same four classmates for all four years so that they're around a like-minded group of students who have the same goals um, and are often in their classes. Um, and then we also work with tutors, um, whether they're um, other students at Sequoia or college students, um, sharing about their college experiences, doing binder checks, and also helping us with our tutorials. So the people of the Avon family also are going to include exposing them to speakers, both about careers and colleges. Um, and in addition, having events, so whether it be a potluck when we can, field trips, um, class bonding, and then parent workshops. So how can we kind of bring all these pieces together where we're not just helping your student, but we're also thinking about the family component and how we're going to bring all of you along in terms of our knowledge. So our expectations for AVID students is that they are role models, um, they're organized, they commit to AVID for four years, and that they're involved on campus. So AVID students, if they're actively participating in our program, are taking and using Cornell notes, using a binder system, they have full and rigorous schedules, they take college prep exams if required, um, they maintain at least C's in their A to G courses, and they apply to at least one four-year college. 
Um, we also encourage students to take at least one IB class during high school. We've been able to meet this from year to year. We find that students are really challenging themselves and we appreciate them, but we also provide them the support to succeed in those courses. So in order to apply for our program, we are a program that requires an application. Uh, students will fill out an application, which asks a few questions about themselves in addition to what are some of their goals, what are things they're looking forward to. We then ask a teacher or counselor to fill out an academic performance evaluation. It just gives us some data about students, like is attendance an issue for them or do they struggle in a particular class? And then we also ask that a transcript or report card is um, submitted. All of this is to give us a more full picture of a student who's applying. We don't see anything as a reason to not admit a student beyond the fact that they may not be able to have room for the class. But other than that, we really try to bring in all the students um, and see how we can work with them in AVID. Um, we see it as a way to sort of change the trajectory of their lives. I wholeheartedly believe that because they not only have people on campus who believe in them, um, but they have a whole community of people who want them to do well, who want them to succeed, and her looking out for their best interests. Um, we do have an online application that should be live right now. Um, you'll need the name and email address of a teacher to recommend you if you're a student who is applying, but you can complete that application online at the bit.ly shortened link on the screen. Um, and you can also find us on the Sequoia High School website under departments, you'll see AVID, and this information is at the top as well. So I really appreciate everyone being here, um, having an idea of wanting to know more about AVID, and please don't hesitate to reach out um, if you need more information. Again, my name is Tessa Yeager. I'm the AVID coordinator at Sequoia, um, and I look forward to meeting you and your students.